Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Sadar Khan here with today's topic the hexadecimal number system. We've seen the binary, we've seen the octal, and today we discuss the basic operations in the hexadecimal number system. All right, so we begin. Hexadecimal number system all right and we've already seen that this is a base 16 system the r the radix or the base is 16 so we have numbers from 0 to r minus 1 which means in this system we have digits from 0 to 15 and they are also represented as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 is represented as A, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So we have this 10 represented as A, 11 as B, 12 as C, 13 as D, 14 as E. And 15 as F. All right. So these were the basics that we've already discussed. Today we discuss some basic operations. So the first one is the hexadecimal addition. All right. So the simpler addition rules applies over here. Uh, let us take an example first. So we have uh, five, six, eight, nine, five, six, eight, nine plus 4574, 4574. Four, four. So 9 plus 4 is what? It's 13 and 13 is represented by a D. So we write a D simply. 8 plus 7 is a 15 and that's an E. Uh, e. Okay, 6 plus 5 is 11 which is a B and 5 plus 4 is a 9 so this is a simpler answer. Okay, this is without a carry. Now the second example is let's say 899 plus 189, alright? So a 9 uh, plus 9 is 18 and 18 is greater than 7 which is not included in this base. So we've seen how to uh, bring it into the base by breaking the number. So I simplify it down here. The number would be equal to carry uh, multiplied by the base and plus the sum. What does this mean? We've already seen this in the octal number system, which means over here is 18. So this 18 could be broken down as 1 multiplied by 16 plus a 2. This carry is always going to be 1 when dealing of two numbers, okay? Always going to be 1. Carry 1 is when, when it is 1? When adding two numbers, okay? When you're adding more than two numbers, then it could vary also. So uh, the two is the sum and one is the carry. Now we have again a nine plus nine is 18. And again, we have a sum of two and one a carry. Then eight plus one is nine and nine plus one is 10. So 10 is represented by an A. All right, next example, if we say we have dad plus add. D A D plus A D D. So D is what? D is 13. So 13 and 13 is 26. Breaking it down again like that. So we say 1 into 16 plus 10. So 10 is the sum. 10 is A. A is the sum. Uh, and 1 is the carry. Now uh, A is 10 and uh, D is 13. So it is 23 and 1 is a carry. So 24. 24. So 24 could be written as 1 into 16 plus 8. So which means this 8 is the sum and 1 is a carry again. Again the same uh, 24. So uh, because D is 13, 14 and then A is 10. So 24. So 8 is the sum and 1 is the carry over here. Nothing. So 1 comes down here. 1, 8, 8, 8 is the answer. So that's about the hexadecimal addition. The next is hexadecimal subtraction, all right? Hexadecimal subtraction. 
if we don't have a borrow involved, the subtraction is as simple as it is. Let's say we have 9654 minus uh, 4574. We have a bar over here. I wrote, I wrote it down. Uh, 5, 3, 2, 1. Let's see. 5, 3, 2, 1. 5, 3, 2, 1. So we don't have any need of a borrow. So 4 minus 1 is 3. Uh, 5 minus 2 is 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. And 9 minus 5 is 4. And that's the answer. Okay. But now in the case of borrow, let's have an example. Uh, 9. 974B 974B minus 587C 587C Okay, so now the C is greater than the B So B minus C is what? 11 minus 12, we don't go into the negatives So we take a borrow now I take a borrow from this 4, so this is left 3, and the borrow in this case is 16. How is this borrow 16? We'll be explaining it, alright? So now, this B becomes a 16 plus B. So uh, 16 plus B is what? It's 11, so this becomes 27, and 27 minus uh, 12 now we have, okay? So 27 minus 12 would be 15. Yes, so 15 and 15 is represented by F. Now 3 minus 7 is again not possible, so we take another borrow from here. So this 7 becomes a 6, and this 3 becomes a 16 plus 3 is 19. And now we have 19 minus 7, so which is 12, and 12 is represented by C. All right, now... A 6 minus 8 is again not possible, so again we take a borrow from here, so this 9 becomes 8, and here we go. Uh, 16 plus 6 becomes 22, and 22 minus 8 is what? It's uh, 14, and 14 is E. And 8 minus 5 is 3, so 3 E, C, F is the answer. Now how is this borrow 16? So we explain it uh, by this method. This B, this is a weighted number system, this hexadecimal system, weighted. So we have this B's weight, which is 16 to the power 0, and we have this 4's weight, 16 to the power 1. All right? So now, if you take a borrow from here to here, which means this cuts out to be 3, and we have a borrower here with it, plus we have 1 into 16 to the power 1. Now this 16 to the power 1, uh, we have, uh, six, this is a 16 power 0 and this is 16 power 1, but this place is for 16 power 0. So we have to convert this into 16 power 0, so this could be a 16 into 16 power 0. Can I write it like this? And then we add these two. We add these two, b into 16 power 0 plus a 16 into 16 power 0. So this will give you a 27 into 16 raised to the power 0, as we've seen, okay? So what do you say? Should I do another example? If I got a simpler one, FAB, FAB minus 4 base C, FAB minus 4 BC. So B minus C, again, not possible. So I take a borrow from here, 16 plus... Uh, 11 is 27 again, and 27 minus 12 uh, is 15. So we have an F over here. Now, okay, we have an F over here. Now this remains to be 9. So 9 minus B is again not possible, okay? So we take a borrow from here. And this becomes an E, and we have a 9 plus 16 is what? 24. And 24 minus B, 24 minus 11 uh, is what? It's 13. 13 is D. 24 minus 11 is what? It's 13, yes. Now we have an E minus 4 is the 10, so it is A. A, D, F is the answer, all right? Okay. Now the next thing we have is the hexadecimal multiplication.
Alright? Uh, hexadecimal multiplication. So let me take a question. Let's say we have a 94 multiplied with 12. 94 multiplied with 12. So the similar rules, the right first. So four twos are eight, and nine twos are eighteen. So nine twos are eighteen is again greater than seven. Eighteen is greater than seven, so I can write eighteen as one into sixteen plus two. So this two is the product, and one is the carry. We don't have anything, so it comes down here. Now here I can write a zero, or you write a cross. Doesn't matter. So one four are four and one nine is nine. So then we have uh, sum this up eight zero is eight four two is six nine one is ten a six eight is the answer. All right. Let's have another question. Is a b c a b c multiplied to twenty three? All right. Now three c's are three. 12s are, so 12 2s are 24 and 12 3s are 36. So how do I write 36? Uh, let me write it here. 36 is uh, 2 multiply 16, which would be 32, and then we have a 4. So 4 is the product and 2 is the carry, all right? Now we have a 3 Bs are, so B is 11, so uh, it's 33, 34, and 35. So 35 is 2 times 16 plus a 3. So 3 is the product and this 2 is the carry. So 3 times A, A is 10. 3 times A is 30 and 32 we have. 2 is the carry, 32. Now 32. So 2 times 16 plus a 0. So the 0 comes down here. 2 is the carry again. Nothing. So 2 is here. 2, 0, 3, 4. All right. Now you place a dot here. You place a 0 here. That's your choice. Now for the 2. 2 multiply C. What is C? It is 12. So 2 12s are 24. So how do you write this 24? 24 is 1 multiply 16 plus 8. So this is 8 and we have 1 a carry. So 2 B. B is 11. So 2, two 11s are 22 and we have a carry is 23. So uh, this 23 could be written as 1 multiply 16 plus a uh, 7. So 7 comes here and 1 goes here. 2 A's are 20 and 1, 21. So we have a 21 is 1 multiply 16 plus 5. So 5 comes here, 1 goes here and 1 comes down here because nothing here. So the answer, final answer comes by the addition. 4 uh, added with 0 is 4. Uh, 8 added with 3 is uh, 11 which is B. 7, uh, 2, 5 is 7, 1, 1, 7, 7, B, 4. And that is the answer, all right? The next that we have is the hexadecimal division. Hexadecimal division. Before studying this hexadecimal division, you have to know about how to convert any number from decimal into hexadecimal because I, I am performing a very simple example over here but that has a conversion from uh, hexadecimal to decimal so if you don't know that you can't do this okay so let's say I'm given a question AEF is divided by 2 a very easy question AEF is divided by 2 all right so for this, I have to write the table of zero, a uh, table of two in hexadecimal, and you have to know that. So uh, I write it down here, two zeros, two ones, two twos, two threes, two fours, two fives, two six, two sevens, two eights, two nines, and two tens, let's say. So two zeros are zero, two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six, two fours are eight, two fives are two fives are now A. Two sixes are C, two sevens are E, 
two eights are now fourteen is represented by ten. Now to nine are eighteen is represented by one two, and a is uh, to twenty is represented by one four. This is the representation in the base eight system, which is equivalent to twenty in the decimal. Similarly, this is a base eight. This is a base eight which is equivalent of 16 in base 10, this is equivalent of 18 in base 10, and similar all of these. So you have to know how to convert these two 8 or 16 into this 10 for the base 16 system. Sorry, this is not 8, this is base 16. Alright, this is base 16, so you have to know how do we convert it from this base 10 into base 16, only then you would be able to solve. All right, so let me do it. Okay, so A, E, F remain inside, the 2 is outside, this is the divider. So A, will A, 2 5s are A. 2 5s are A, this is a 0, now this E comes down. E is where? It's 7, so... Uh, to sevens are E, this is zero again. Now this F comes down. So now we have F is where? E is the smallest. So I write it over here again. Seven is E and we have one a remainder. So the quotient that we have is five, seven, seven and the remainder is one. So this is a very basic example I just took for the sake of explanation. The same as the ordinary division, but you have to know how to convert hexadecimal to the decimal number system. As we all know the decimal number system. So I suggest you watch those videos first of converting decimal into hexadecimal. You write it in the decimals and then you convert it into hexadecimals, all right? So that's all about the hexadecimal number systems and that's all about today's lecture. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. Goodbye.